doing an experiment. Please excuse the drier sounds and that terrifying thing in Minnesota. I have a hard time with my hand disabilities getting off all of the transferred goop and so I want to see what will happen if I put all these in the washing machine on like soak and then maybe delicate and we'll see if the transfer comes off. Wish me luck! Okay, I took the little metal dealy bops hooky things off because I don't think they're real metal. I think they're probably just like painted zinc. They're, they're metal, but they're not metal metal. So they're in there. I threw in some retain and like a teeny tiny bit of OxyClean and I'm just going to put it on uh, like delicates and pre-soak and pray. I'm scared. It already looks like it's something staining down there. Oh good god. Well it's in there uh, and I realized that the thing I thought that was retain that I put in there was actually acetone. Why don't I read bottles? I can't be left alone. I heard it change sounds and I made it unlock and it's working! Nobody's dead yet! Well, I mean, of who I can see. Good luck! Bye! Okay, I chickened out because it said it was washing, but it sounded like there was no water in there and I was right. There was no water in there. The washing machine's a liar. Whatever its button lights are saying, it's like, oh, I'm washing. No, it was spinning the hell out of them. They're fine, but it was spinning them and it's a liar. So, let's see. See if it's any better than I was doing. Okay, so we do have some residue, but is it as stuck on? No, it's not as stuck on. I can definitely scrub that off much easier than usual. Well, I'm not gonna say that this was a good idea and I definitely dumped acetone that uh, <laughs> stained, stained the edge of this because it took some of the paint off of my fake plastic hoops. Uh, so don't put acetone in it. Advice A. Otherwise, uh, not super sad. Gonna go rinse these in cold water and um, let them rest. They've been through a lot today. Yes, these are underpants. That says always wear underwear. It's a it's a Latin joke. It's it's fine. Blame it on the a a a a a acetone. Sorry about that, buddy. We'll em embellish you or put you in a. Maybe we'll just put you in a smaller hoop and trim the edges. It'll be fine. Uh, so those were single thickness fabric. My concern is that the dual thickness fabric is where I had my largest issues. So I thought, what better to test it on than the stitch along we just finished? Because I don't want to test it on my friend's um, Christmas present because I wouldn't want to ruin that. I don't make any sense to myself either. It's fine. I don't make the rules. So we're going to test it and pray. I'm hoping to just get it through the soak and wiggle cycle and not have it spin like the little guys did. I don't think a big hoop spinning in here will be wise. Um, here we go. So I'm obviously not going to let it go that long, but I have it on delicate, light soil, low spin. I'm going to stop it before it does that. Cold, cold, and uh, a pre-wash, so hopefully it will soak. So if you also would like to make poor decisions and experiment in this way, not recommended, just saying you could, if you wanted to, that's what you could set your washer to. You know, for reasons. Silent, and that scares me. I don't know, I don't know if that means it's, it's pre-washing or if it's full of demons. So I'm gonna pause it. Are you alive in there? You're in the same place I left you. How's it going? <gasps> I think it's working. They're not dead. Hello. Mm, I don't see it removing a ton. Ah, I think it is. We're doing it, people. We're doing it live. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, I don't know if that's a rinsing sound or a draining sound, but I feel like that's a pre-spinning sound, so I'm going to stop it. Oh. Wow, let me really unlock quickly. Okay. Oh, he's alive. He's still in the hoop. Oh my gosh, it worked so well. I think I can literally just like hand, hand scrub this a little bit maybe and get the last of it off. Yay! I don't have to attack all of you with a toothbrush anymore. Hooray! Hooray for everybody. If this works, when they dry, we'll know if it worked. 
it looks amazingly good considering how much I usually struggle to get the, the residue off the edges. Now, I will have to do further experimentation to tell you if that was due to just the OxyClean being in there and loosening it, or if actually being in the washer helped. But this is really not bad. And again, it's really hard to see if you got everything until you have um, dried it. It's really difficult to see where the residue is hiding, and that's my main complaint with this product. But I'm not having to aggressively and violently scrub it with a toothbrush, so I feel like that's a win over the alternative. I'm pretty happy. I will get back to you when it's dry. Okay, so full disclosure, not everything is dry yet. You can see the difference in color. Uh, the double the double fabric is just it's a it's a world of its own so full disclosure i will say that this did save me time as far as how much like hand power i had to use to do the initial scrubbing these ones i didn't do any extra scrubbing after i took them out and you can see that there is some residual but it does scratch right off um I usually will run over anything I've washed with a uh, sticky roller when I'm done and that helps a lot with just the little bits so those ones I didn't do any additional washing if I had been even slightly more diligent I think that would have worked out I think the smaller hoops work better because they are getting tumbled around a lot more I think the hoop is actually protecting your stitching because it gets, they all kind of get wedged in at an angle that doesn't allow them to get like smushed too badly. But results may vary as far as like the, the quality of washing. So like this one came out really nice. There's like very, very little for me to go back and fix. Also, keep in mind that I stopped these at completely arbitrary times whenever I randomly thought that there was no water in it. So had I probably let it go through a wash cycle, like I should have, I would probably have a lot less residue. So you can see that there is some residue. These ones I didn't wash extra at all. And this will come right off. Um, it, it will not be a problem to get this off with a, a very light uh, brushing of the toothbrush with it. This one got a little more beat up, but I also apparently sewed that quite lazily. This is why you don't sew after midnight, folks. You get lazy daisy stitches like this. Uh, I will say that notice when I noticed that there was a tiny bit of residual, even on the well-washed ones, I went through and I scrubbed this guy uh, to make sure that it wouldn't come up with a bunch on there. So I do think that this has validity. I do think that your stitching will be totally fine. Obviously, if you do it, these ones went through hell and back. So I, uh, I think that this has validity. I think it helps. I don't know that it is a perfect wash and what is. So if that helps you, yay science. Bye.